And still in South Africa, the uh, South African Reserve Bank uh, reduced its key interest rate by 25 basis points to 7.75% on November 21st, 2024, as anticipated, bringing borrowing costs to their lowest level since April 2023. And our policymakers stressed that while inflation is well contained in the short term, the medium term outlook carries uh, significant uh, uncertainties and potential for upside risks. Since our previous meeting, the global macroeconomic context has become more challenging. The dollar has appreciated against most currencies, including the rent. Longer term, interest rates have risen in the United States and across the globe. Short term rate expectations have likewise shifted up. In general, Monetary policy in major economies remains restrictive and headline inflation has slowed. While this has provided some room for major central banks to ease rates further over the past two months, new inflation pressures and heightened uncertainty suggest diminished policy space. With underlying inflation still above target in several economies, there are risks of policy reversals. Turning to South Africa, we continue to see a growth recovery taking hold after a weak economic performance through 2023 and the first half of 2024. In the near term, we expect output to benefit from a variety of tailwinds, including lower inflation, higher disposable income, and extra spending from pension withdrawals via the new two-part pension system. It is unclear how much this will boost the third quarter growth numbers, which are due in a few weeks. The data flow has been mixed lately, with some indicators disappointing, while others have been positive. For instance, recent manufacturing data was subdued, but mining was stronger. Encouragingly, the most recent labor force survey showed relatively large and broad-based job gains and lower unemployment. Over the medium term, we still expect a sustained improvement in growth as reforms take effect. Our forecast now extends out to 2027 and we see growth reaching 2% in that year. The risks to the growth outlook are assessed to be balanced. Given mixed data outcomes, it is possible that near-term growth could fall short of current projections. At the same time, Growth could be higher from next year, given ongoing reforms. These include structural reforms, especially in the network industries, such as electricity and transport. Furthermore, the recent positive outlook on South Africa's credit rating from Standard and Poor's points to an improving country risk premium. These factors suggest upside risks to the longer term growth forecast. Moving to consumer prices, headline inflation has dipped below our target range, reaching 2.8% in October. Goods prices have slowed more than those for services which mainly reflects the benefits of a stronger exchange rate and a lower oil price relative to last year. These temporary supply shocks are likely to keep inflation below 4% until mid-2025. Thereafter, we see inflation modestly higher relative to our September projections, reaching 4.6%, from late 2025 rather than 4.4%.
This is primarily because of a higher electricity price assumption. At the same time, core inflation is mainly lower for this year and next year, which reflects recent data outcomes. We continue to see headline inflation stabilizing near our midpoint objective over the forecast horizon.